Hey, Super Cruisers, it's Frank and Kevin from Cruising with Wheels. Questions, questions, questions abound in this episode of our Q&A series. Let's get started. We've got quite a few questions to answer, and some of them, I don't know, I think I should have brought down my uh, counselor's shingle to hang up. <laughs> the first question comes from Angela, and Angela writes in and says, my friend told me to not buy any cruise gift cards, because I'll get screwed on them. Why is that? <laughs> Um, well, uh, um, first of all, you know, we have bought uh, cruise gift cards in the past. We've received cruise right. gift cards as gifts from friends, but we've always used them right away, and I think that's the key. Use them right away. Do not wait forever and a day because, like everything else, they have expiration dates. Uh, and also, if you place, if you're using them in reference to your onboard spending account, because a lot of um, guests will uh, use that as a budgeting technique. You want to use your um, gift cards before you give them cash mm -hmm. because if you've put placed the gift card on the onboard spending account in, on some of the cruise lines, uh, they will just eat up the rest of it instead of, yeah. right? right? Because once they right. start using it, they're using it. Yeah. And again, as you get toward uh, read the fine print on the on the on the cruise gift card, right? Because as you approach the expiration date, uh, money is going to be taken off for not using it, and maybe you got a hundred dollar gift card, and it's now oh, now only worth twenty bucks. So your friend is wrong. You will not get screwed, but <laughs> if you don't follow the rules, right. you will. But it's be your own fault. Right. So use so, it right away. Book that cruise. The next question comes from Peter. What does Peter say? Peter says, when are port charges refunded? We changed ports and went somewhere else. Well, port charges will be refunded if that particular port is canceled um, and not switched to another port. Right. You just didn't go anywhere. <clears throat> I'll tell you that generally the port charges are not that much money. Um, we've had canceled ports and we've only got like a credit back of $25. Right. So if you think about it, if you have five stops on your cruise and your port fees are uh, $275, <laughs> you know, right. one port is not going right. to be a lot and, of money. And then, and then the money does depend on the port, where you're going. Right. But remember, the fine print of the cruise contract is they reserve the right to switch ports. Mm -hmm. But if a port is totally canceled and you're just out to sea, you should get their money back. Exactly. Now, generally, what they'll do is they will find another port. So you really don't see right. uh, that they've credited you for, say, Jamaica. Right. And uh, now they're recharging you for uh, Aruba. Right. Now there's Which another. Would be a great right. upgrade for now, me. Now I think there's another issue that I, I I checked into, and that's bundling, port bundling, mm -hmm. where you're going to multiple, let's say, uh, Bahamian ports. Like you're going to Freeport, then you're going to Nassau. I believe a lot that's of that bundle. that is bundled yeah. together, and there may be no refunds because they can't divide it up. They don't separate it right. because it goes to the nation. Right. Uh, even though they're separate islands. Now, the next question comes from Louisa, and Louisa right. uh, said, my hubby wants to go on a cruise, but I'm so afraid of ending up in a hospital in a foreign country. Uh, if fear. I get sick or injured. Uh, my fear. So, my fear. Uh, what did, well, you know, it really sound like a question to me. Well, I, I think it's, uh, it's just uh, advice. I, I advi again, I, I said <clears throat> I, I may have to put out my counselor's shingle. Uh, for advice, uh, psychiatrist, psychologist. Uh, but um, like we do, we check with our doctor. We go see our own doctor uh, prior to sailing. So I would, you know, if you're worried about getting sick, I'm wondering why you're worried. Uh, if you have um, a condition or whatever, go see your own doctor. Well, a lot Get of times that. I think people are worried about 
about uh, breaking a limb. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Or what if they have a heart attack but, but, or Yeah, but go to your doctor like and make sure that he gives you the clear to sale okay, uh, get good travel insurance mm -hmm. uh, that fits your exact needs, not just a regular blanket, but your needs. Right, you want to make sure that if you get travel insurance and you have a pre-existing condition like cancer, kidney disease, uh, renal failure, that it covers pre-existing yes. conditions because most policies do not. Right. And if you do get injured, let's say break an arm, break a leg or whatever, and you're in Mexico or wherever you are, and they fix you up, and you're like, okay, make sure you get a release from that hospital that you are okay to sail mm -hmm. because the ship probably will not let you back on unless you're fit to sail again. I also want to add that if you do get injured and you're in a foreign uh, port, you should call the ship. Oh, you absolutely. should call them and let them know what's happening. Uh, let them know where you are going uh, to be treated and um, a time frame. Because if you broke your leg and they're backed up and whatever, right. the ship most likely will wait for you. Uh, where in some instances they won't. Most instances they won't. Because, because they have to leave <clears throat> because another ship is probably coming in to take their spot in that berth, in that dock. So they got to go because ships are constantly in and out and in and out. So the next question comes from Karen. She writes, my husband wants to buy the drinks package on our Royal Caribbean mm. cruise. Uh, he's a, uh, he can be a heavy drinker and I'm worried. Oh, Okay, let us get uh, Father Francis to advise you. <laughs> That's a tough one. That is a tough one. Because, uh, you know, if he's a heavy drinker at home, he's probably going to be a heavy drinker on the cruise. But and I'm if you, sorry, you know what you You married. know what you got. But um, if you can, and he wants to buy the package, so there's money being shelled out. <coughs> so maybe you can try to convince him that it's not worth the money to buy the package and just buy a drink when he wants one uh and there's but tell him you know we're gonna you're gonna be doing lots of stuff on the cruise there's lots of activities and it's not going to be a cruise where he's sitting in the bar all day and night but i'm going to play devil's and, and, advocate and you need him sober and active with you but it's because his cruise too he's gonna do what <laughs> he's, he's gonna, gonna do. do and if you if if he said uh, you know, if you think he's going to drink five to six drinks a day anyways, it's better for him to get the drink package, right? Because, because it, if he goes off the deep end and it's 10 it's to 20... The money it's, you spent. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's per drink he's spending and putting you into debt. So, yeah. I don't know. That's a I tough know. one. You know what you got. <laughs> Can't help you on that. Right. The next question comes from Charlene. Uh, my husband can get a bit jealous. Oh, God, here we go. Regarding other men and how I dress. Okay, here we go. Get the shingle out. Uh, he thinks I dress too provocative and sexy. I want to feel my best on our cruise. Again, you know what you married. You got what you got. Jealous is jealous. Again, if he's jealous at home, he's going to be jealous on the cruise. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. You're not going to change him just because you're on a week's cruise, but... Uh, maybe you can get one week's worth of good behavior. You know, you shouldn't need your husband's approval for what you wear. Or for, let's start with that. Uh, but maybe a bit of compromising would work. Well, come on now. To We've avoid seen some hoochies. I know some on these cruises. Some fights on board. I, I don't know. So you know how he is. You want to avoid any confrontations. Um, you shouldn't have to change your behavior or the way you dress because some man is jealous. That's his problem, not yours. Uh, but again, compromise on both ends, I guess, would go a long way. And who's the next question from? The next one is from Perrin. Uh, now, Perrin says, my husband is a bit of a loner uh, and a bit unsociable. Uh, I'm an extrovert and love people. Oh, okay, opposites do attract. How do I get him out of his shell for our upcoming cruise? Who cares? <laughs> Prop him up on a, a bar stool at a bar or put him by the pool and you go have a good time. 
That's I know, what I say. But if you're going on a, a devil's advocate, but if you're going on a cruise with your a spouse, you want them to be part of your cruise, and you don't want to be alone. It's a it's a joint effort. I would say include him in all aspects of planning the week's activities. Pick out restaurants, excursions, shows, uh, and hopefully he'll get a little excited. But somebody who is a little bit of a loner, and you're the extrovert, honey, so get the elbow out because you may have to nudge him uh, a little bit throughout the cruise just to get him out there. Be prepared. Yeah. It doesn't always work, yeah. though. Good luck. He's more of an introvert, and I'm more of an extrovert. I'll talk to anybody, right. and he says, leave him alone. Why are you Why talking, are you talking to, to people? <laughs> 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 Next question comes from Melanie. Melanie says, how do I tell my husband that I'd rather go on a cruise with my best friend and not him? <laughs> oh, God. I want to have fun, not sit around, and do nothing. Oh, you, Melanie, you got to sit around and do nothing, husband. Just tell him. Uh, I think that maybe you might want to get with Perrin, who is the unsociable husband, and you two can get together. I don't know. Uh, um, <clears throat> I, I don't know. I would say uh, maybe tell him that you were invited to go on a cruise with your friend, and, uh, you know, Kevin will, like, make up this story. And I know you would hate to go. So, you know, uh, I don't know. Have you ever taken separate trips before? I guess that would be the precedent. I don't uh, know. And would he care? Like, would his feelings get hurt? Would he be upset? Can I remind you all that this is Cruising with Wheels, not marriage counseling? <laughs> I know. I said, I was like, oh, my God, we're going to get our, our counselor shingle. I know. Our next question comes from Cynthia. And Cynthia writes, my husband thinks that any food outside my kitchen is total crap. Oh, well, Something you must like be a good cook then. Okay. He always complains when we go out. Okay. Uh, I'm, jo uh, I'm jonesing <laughs> for a great cruise food. Uh, and, uh, okay. How do you get him to go? Because he, he thinks all the food is crap. But it's not crap. Um, I don't know. Pick a cruise line and ship uh, and have him go through all the menus. Well, I know that Look I've had to tell you sometimes yeah. when you're sitting on the cruise going, oh, this is horrible, blah, 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 and I'm enjoying my meal. So you might just have to say, shut your pie hole. <laughs> uh, talk, right? talk to people who've been on a cruise. Show him pictures. Watch our Cruising with Wheels food videos where we you know, we take you through all our restaurant lunch and breakfast meals, and uh, we have a beautiful picture slideshow. Maybe that'll get him salivating. And, I don't know. And remember, he can always order something else if he doesn't like what I, he's got. Exactly. So but I, I, don't, I don't see a problem. But isn't he sweet that he thinks your food is the best? I know. You go, girl. Next question comes from Bella. And what's Bella say? Bella says, I'm one of those people who hates having a bill and just wants to pay off my cruise so I know it is done and mm -hmm. put to bed. You, you always say, don't pay it off too soon. Why is that? Well, let me explain. <laughs> Go. Uh, first of all, you can pay off 99.9% uh, .9 of it. If you want to book the cruise that's a year and a half away, let's say, and pay, uh, if it's, let's say it's, uh, let's say it's a $5,000 bill. It's exactly $5,000. You can pay $4,900 90. Uh, $90. And leave that $10. You, you want to hold some money back. And the reason I say you want to hold some money back is until final payment is because if they have all your money, this is my whole point. Like, we don't, we, we probably try to pay as little as possible right, right. until that last You ain't final getting payment. our money until we have to. <laughs> uh, because, one, if they got all your money, how are you going to, you know, you don't have any leverage. Right. That's my big thing. Yeah. Because you don't have any leverage, right? Right. Uh, two, uh, it's easier to switch things, switch cruises when you haven't paid it all. Right. Three, when you've paid it all off, you only have so many days to decide whether or not you're getting uh, the insurance. Right. Um, so I like to wait as long yeah. as possible because I... The, the prices ebb right. and flow for that. Right. So what if you book it a year and a half in advance, and then all of a sudden, <clears throat> uh, a year later, you're six months away from the cruise, and the price goes down? Four. Generally, yeah. the uh, generally, if prices go down, you uh, will only receive onboard credit if you've already paid for it. Where you know we we don't really spend a lot of money on the ship. Right. We've already prepaid our gratuities. Right. We've already, everything's all prepaid. Right. So 
we would never need onboard credit. Right. We've, ar likely. we've already paid for our excursions from home. We've already booked our specialty restaurants from home. And it sounds like that's what them. you do. Yeah. So, so um, if you pay out, if you pay it in full, a lot of the cruise lines policies are: if the price goes down, we only give you onboard credit. We're not going to give you the price difference. If you get that. If you get that. They might not. So, like. I'll give you a perfect example. We were sailing on the NCL Gem in 2015. I had booked it with uh, NCL directly. The bill was supposed to be uh, roughly $2,500. Uh, I was looking online a couple months later, found it for the same exact category, cabin and everything, for $1,500. Called the cruise line. Cruise line wouldn't deal with it. Um, they weren't going to lower the price. They told us to go with the other company, and we had only put the deposit down. Right. So I said, okay, no problem. Called the other company. We've been with that other company ever since. Right. Uh, transferred the reservation, and I didn't have to worry about, now I have to get my money back from right. them, and then I have to pay the other person. And right. So that's why I say hold back, right. hold back the money. You if you want to pay it off, pay it off in your head, by sticking the money in right, an envelope, right? Exactly. Right? Money, money, money in the envelope. So it goes. we do. It's like we don't. It's not that we don't have the money. We got the money, <clears throat> but we're just holding on to it. So that's what I suggest, and that's why I suggest it. Last Next question comes from Gerald. Last question. Gerald writes: My wife and I are subscribers and love your tales from the high seas. <laughs> Thank you. My wife is very vocal, uh -oh. and based on her comments, uh -oh. listening to your stories about so many rude people on board, <laughs> I'm afraid she'll be going off on everyone. How do I keep her oh, calm? God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Uh, like her. Yeah, really. Alcohol or a Valium works wonders. Uh, I'll keep, you know, the stories... Actually, our, they're true stories. They're funny when we get home. A lot of times they're not funny when they're there, but not everyone is like that. You're on a ship with thousands of people. Not everyone is going to be a rude idiot. Uh, and remember, tell you're on vacation. Whatever happens, let it roll off your shoulders. That's what we do. And enjoy. Just let it go. We just take notes so take we can notes, tell you. And you know what? At dinner, laugh about it. We want to thank you for joining us for another exciting Q&A. And remember, don't just watch our videos. Become a regular Cruising with Wheels family member. Right. Uh, all you have to do is click the subscribe button and don't be a dingling. <laughs> Sorry. Hit that bell, too, and you'll get regular notifications of when our videos go live. Remember, we're also on all the other social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat. You just wanted to get to that snap. I didn't did. You? I did. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But until next time, we want to remind everybody to always travel safe and cruise often.